Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. I hope you're all doing well. I have just got up, I've had a shower, I've made myself a coffee, which I feel like literally looks like milk. I, I don't know how that's happened because I've actually put three shots of espresso in here. I thought we could get ready together today. I'm actually having a bit of a content day. I'm going for dinner later. It's gonna be a nice fun day. So I wanted to do my makeup, do my hair, pick an outfit out. So yeah, I've already gone ahead and done my hair. I did film a couple of clips because I feel like every single time I do a slick bun, I always get questions about how I do it. So I basically brush it back um, as tight as I can and tie it into a bubble I then wrap it around my head um, to basically put it in this little bun put a clip in and then I use these little mascara ones here um, I need to find a better version of these because obviously these are plastic I'm pretty sure someone commented on one of my videos that you can actually get bamboo versions of these I use the eco argan oil gel and yeah I basically use that just to slick everything down basically smooth any baby hairs and then once I've done as much as I can with this wand I do a very light layer again using my hands next thing I want to do because I've really been trying to do this more recently when I'm getting ready is to pick my outfit I can get ready pretty quickly but it's always picking my outfit that takes me the longest part like if I've not thought through what I want to wear so I've got a couple of options that all from I saw it first this part the video is actually very kindly sponsored by I saw it first as well and I do have a discount code for you guys you can use the code HANR to get 10% off the entire site the first one is probably the most casual I would say I actually really really like this outfit so I picked out this cropped um collared sweater it's like kind of like a chocolatey color it's like a very very dark brown chocolate um, it's got this 99 um, printed on the front in white and then it just goes down into wide sleeves. I love the fit of this so much. I really love collared um, cropped tops at the minute. I just feel like they look really flattering on. It's a really soft like woolly knit material and it's super super slouchy in terms of the fit. So I picked that up and then to go with it I got these black cargo pants because I feel like I just... I just love wearing cargo pants at the minute. They're just so comfortable. I love anything that's wide leg, anything that's like baggy and slouchy. These are just plain black cargos. I actually really like the detail at the front because they've got this little button here. So they look really smart when they're done up, but they're still elasticated at the back. So they're super comfortable. They're not too like tight on. And then they just go down into long wide leg black cargo pants. They've got these little pockets here as well on the side. Next outfit actually very different for me this is quite like girly quite feminine so i picked up this um dress here it's like what's what's this material called kind of like a woven material this dress it's like a really beautiful baby pink color i just loved the style of this in the sense of like it's got this really nice frilly bottom because it's got this like deeper neckline i thought it'd look quite cute with a white shirt underneath as well or like a white little top of some sort It'll be cute with like a little pair of boots or a pair of trainers or some heels to dress up as well and then the last piece that i picked up which i think is what i'm gonna wear because i love this dress so much and it's more of like a casual style dress so it's this really gorgeous like stone color it's got quite like a wide um round neckline and then it goes down into long sleeves and kind of like it's a mini dress but it's not too short of a mini dress for me it's got a little slit here on the side and it's so soft in terms of the material really comfortable really flattering it's like bodycon but not too tight like it's still really comfortable to wear so i think i'm gonna wear this today with a pair of boots maybe but yeah those are my new pieces from i saw it first as i said you can use code han r to get money off anyway on with the makeup i feel like i've not filmed a get ready with me since i've moved into my house i filmed a makeup tutorial not so long ago but i wasn't too sure on the lighting and stuff so you'll have to let me know as you're watching this video if you like the makeup films on this camera or i obviously have my more like detail camera where i can zoom in a little bit more i thought for today seeing as we're just doing like a bit of a get ready with me i'd keep it nice and chilled and film it on my vlog camera anyway 
on with the makeup so for brows i'm using my anastasia brow freeze brow styling wax and the anastasia 7b brush so i'm just going to pop some of this through my brows i basically like brush them up and then um use my finger just to like really push them down into the skin and then that way i find that they stay in place all day but let me like, zoom you in a little bit just so that you can see a bit better to fill in my brows i'm going to use the huda beauty um, brow pencil this is in the shade black brown this and the refi pencil are by far my favorites they're like super super thin so they're really easy to get um like kind of like hair like strokes towards the front of the brow i'm gonna do a little bit of eye cream this is just the antipodes kiwi seed eye oil cream and then i'm gonna do just like every day makeup today so just what i do on like a day-to-day -day basis i have got a couple of new products that i want to try actually so i thought we could do that together in this video i'm gonna do Too faced born this way in the shade almond to prime my eyes this is like i feel like i've tried to repurchase this so many times in the past couple of months i don't know if it's sold out or what but this one has literally been run to the ground nearly and i'm desperately in need of a new one okay eyes are primed i don't know what palette to use today no i'm gonna mix things up because i've not used this palette in a while this is the morphe madison beer palette um it's just like a really nice neutrals palette i'm gonna dip into this shade first I think I'm just gonna keep this really, really easy. That's actually really pigmented. Okay, so I've just popped that on my outer corner and I'm actually barely touching the skin and that's still coming off really pigmented. So I'm just gonna lightly bring it in and then gently wing it out a little bit here. I've literally used this eyeshadow brush for the longest time now. This is the Zoeva. 228 Luxe Crease Brush. I don't even know if they still do this brush, but it's by far the best blending brush for eyeshadow I've ever used. Like, I love it so much. And then this is the brush that I use for angled liner, whether it's shadow, gel, like, no matter what. This is the Anastasia 7B brush. I've just bought a new one, hence why it's, like, still got some packaging on. But I'm just going to use the black shade from this palette and just do kind of like a three quarter or like a third of my eye wing liner so i'm only going to drag it back to a third of the lash line i think i might actually add something like shimmery to my lid as well i'm gonna try hmm, maybe this one because it's kind of like it's quite light like i always like to keep my inner corner um or like the inner part of my lid quite light quite like that actually just added like a little bit of sparkle which i'm always here for okay for moisturizer i'm going to use my ula Henriksen sea rush brightening cream this is like one moisturizer especially that i feel like works so well under foundations i feel like some moisturizers can sometimes make my foundation like peel away does anyone ever get that where it's like you're brushing your foundation on and it's like peeling off at the same time? I feel like anytime that happens, it's usually down to my moisturizer rather than the foundation. Moisturize my neck because I think I'm gonna need instant tan today. I've not put fake tan on now in weeks. Literally weeks, but I'm waiting to redo my tan because anyone's watched thursday's vlog then you'll already know but me and the girls are going to dubai this weekend i'm literally so excited never been before literally never been is it dubai or dubai i don't know i keep saying dubai but anyway i've never been before um i'm so excited to go i'm gonna use my super goop as always spf 30 of course but yeah i'm like waiting to fake tan now until saturday because we're flying out on sunday so i'm like i want fresh tan ready for holiday do i want to do primer as well do you know what i'm going to do some primer i'm going to do the ciate watermelon burst this one's just like super hydrating on the skin and i feel like my skin especially has been so dry recently like not even just on my face but like my body i've just been 
very very dry so i'm gonna use a little bit extra today i recently ordered a new one of these on cult beauty this is the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter i feel like i've got the wrong shade i got the shade five tan i probably could have done with four but I'm just going to try and make it work. I don't really, I feel like there's a lot of ways you can use this product. So do I want to like mix it in with my foundation or do it under foundation? Maybe I'll, hmm, <laughs> what do I want to do? Yeah, definitely too dark for me, but I've ordered and bought it now. So we're just going to have to make it work. This is the thing with ordering products online. Like it's tricky. It is tricky to figure out what shade to get of stuff. I think I'm going to do what I've been um, doing more recently as well, which is mixing in my Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm. Um, this is the shade Gold Gasm. I'm just going to mix it on the back of this palette. I really wish these had different applicators. And then another Charlotte Tilbury product. Sorry, I realise this is a lot of Charlotte Tilbury, um, but I've really been enjoying this foundation. This is the Beautiful Skin Foundation. I've got the shade 6. So I'm going to mix those two on the back of my palette and use that as my foundation i desperately need to clean my brushes i feel like you know when you like using your foundation brush and you can literally feel the build of a foundation not to be gross but i do really like this foundation i used it for the first time on its own um a couple of days ago i want to say and yeah it looks so pretty like by itself I was like mixing it at first with a Too Faced foundation, but I actually quite like it on its own. Anyone else just like so excited for summer this year? Like I literally can't wait for spring and summertime. I, well, we're kind of coming in spring now, but I can't wait to like go to Dukes in Manchester. Like we've just booked a table um, at Dukes for April to go like day drinking, which honestly seems silly because it's so far in advance, but... I always think it's so nice to have like little things to look forward to. I'm excited for like lighter evenings, lighter mornings, for the days to feel longer. Like I'm excited to sit in the garden. I just love summertime. It's so funny because I feel like growing up, I much preferred winter to summer. But now I still like winter, but I don't know. I feel like I had such a weird Christmas, like last Christmas that... This year, I've just been so excited for summer. I feel like my skin looks a bit textured at the minute, which I don't know. Maybe I need to, I might exfoliate tonight. I, I never know how much to exfoliate with my skin just because it is quite sensitive and quite dry. But then I hate when you put foundation on and you can kind of like see the foundation like it's almost like sat on top of the skin if you know what i mean i feel like that's kind of what it looks like today am i getting makeup on this robe i am oh my god shall i just put the dress on that i'm gonna wear do you know what i'm gonna do that because i'm I've start, i'm starting to get makeup all over this okay and then a new product that i recently got cult beauty very kindly sent this over with some other products from milk makeup this is called the bionic bronzer and i'm not really sure it says Bronzer with skincare superpowers, hydrating liquid bronzer for a natural looking sun-kissed effect. So I'm assuming it's, yeah, like a liquid cream bronzer situation. You guys know I really, really love this cream bronzer from Milk. This is what I use. Um, I've literally used this for like the past year non-stop. This is the matte bronzer in Blaze. So I thought we'd try this today, seeing as I know I really love the other liquid bronzer that they do that is what it looks like on the palette this poor palette is just getting wrecked i always get scared trying new oh no that's cute i was gonna say i always get scared trying like new bronzers especially because i'm quite like picky when it comes to cream bronzers like i don't like anything too cool which i thought that was going to be really cool to own it is Definitely more cool tone than what I usually use, but not by too much. I tend to place my cream bronzer a lot higher now than what I used to as well. So I don't know if you can tell, but I'm pretty much putting that like on the top of my cheekbone. Um, just because I feel like it lifts the face a lot more compared to like doing it underneath the cheekbone. I like to kind of run underneath gently with my beauty blender as well. It's not got any extra product on but it kind of just like cleans it up a little bit and makes it look a little bit more 
like contoured and chiseled. I'm going to use um, my HMB concealer today. This is Holly Boone's brand. I'm sure so many of you have used this by now. I feel like this concealer is so popular. Um, I've got the shade SF 1.5 W. Rach actually very kindly gave me one of her shades um, to try out and I've used it a couple of times now and honestly so pigmented like such amazing coverage but doesn't look too heavy i don't know just blends in really nicely feels really nice under the eyes sets down really nicely as well pretty much ticks all of the boxes you would want for a concealer the shade is obviously a little bit lighter than the rest of my skin as well just to give a little bit of a highlight i feel like sometimes it's a bit like scary when you first put a concealer down and obviously it's a lot a lot brighter what i try and remember is like concealer is always the lightest it's going to be when you first blend it out so once you set concealer down it always gets a little bit darker once it's like been on the skin for a couple of minutes it always gets a little bit darker so just because it looks kind of light at first it will look fine in the end then i'm going to use my tarty um like puff to set my concealer down. I'm not really going to set much more of the rest of the face just because my skin is quite dry but I'm using the Laura Mercier powder and I literally just take a fair bit of this and then just pat it underneath the eyes. Okay my camera is currently flashing so I'm going to go and quickly put it on charge and then We'll continue. Okay, I'm back. I've charged my camera a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go in with bronzer and I'm gonna use my Fenty um, Shady Biz bronzer, which just looks like so. Literally my favorite bronzer at the minute. This is like my second one of these now. So I'm just gonna dust over. Again, I tend to keep this quite high when I'm like applying bronzer just because, I don't know, I feel like it makes your face look a little bit more lift it and then i'm also gonna contour my nose with this so i feel like you guys have seen me do this so many times but i literally just do the sides of my nose i always connect it up to the brow and then i'm gonna do under the nose as well because this will basically lift the tip of your nose the highlighter i've really been enjoying this highlighter from beauty bay at the minute it's in the shade beam very like light and icy so i like to just use a really light hand with this i'm just gonna put this on the tops of my cheekbones i feel like highlight is such a i don't know i feel like highlight is not as big of a thing as it used to be but it's literally the one thing that i will always always do i feel like i just love the way that it looks i feel like it just makes your skin look a little bit more even for some reason as well which probably sounds weird because i know obviously if you highlight textured areas and it kind of enhances the textured areas but i feel like it just makes your skin overall look a little bit more put together and i also like to use a little pencil brush and just highlight my inner corners with the favorite favorite blush at the minute is the too faced love flush in i will always love you and i'm just going to use this with a little mini blush brush i like to kind of start like more towards the side of my nose and a little bit past the apples of my cheeks and then i start dragging it back i really like blush in springtime i feel like it just makes your skin look really like fresh and youthful and then all we've got left to do is lips so this has been my absolute favorite lip liner for a while now it's the charlotte tilbury lip sheet in hot gossip it's like a your lips but better color but like a little bit darker it's a bit darker than pillow talk because i feel like pillow talk is it still like the most popular liner that Charlotte Tilbury does? I'm not too sure, but for me, it's a little bit too light. Like I like something a little bit darker in color just to outline my lip. The thing that I like to do when I line my lips now as well is I only really overline the very center. So the cupid's bow and the center of the bottom of my lip too. Um, I then kind of bring it in almost underneath my lip line for the outer corners just because it will look a little bit more natural compared to overlining the entire lip. And um, I feel like it's, it kind of makes your lips look bigger anyway compared to overlining everything. And then I'm going to use a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. I feel like I've used a lot of Charlotte Tilbury um, for this video. But I do really love Charlotte Tilbury. And as you guys know, I am cruelty free. So I feel like 
I'm sometimes not limited because there's a lot of cruelty free brands out there but obviously I only use select brands and Charlotte Tilbury is definitely one of my faves so this is the lipstick in Runway Royalty I've not actually tried this one before so I thought we'd give it a go you that actually pairs with that lip liner really nicely and then a last little hack that I like to do for this hairstyle because you can kind of see my hairline like coming through a little bit obviously where it's lighter than my foundation and um, so I just take a dark you can use like a dark eyeshadow I use a brow powder this is one by Sigma um, and I'm just gonna use a quite like a dense flat brush basically just like go around my hairline a little bit like can you see already where that's kind of filled in just like a little bit of the gaps i prefer doing this to root spray when i've got this kind of hair because i feel like root spray is kind of hard to control like it, it comes out quite quickly and that is everything done in fact let me put jewelry on because i do feel a bit bad okay so excuse like the mess <laughs> that you can see in the mirror but this is what I've gone for. Put some little boots on, my little like black coat. I've got my Fendi bag. Um, and yeah, this is gonna be my outfit and full look of the day. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you enjoyed this style of get ready with me or if you'd rather I filmed them on like my proper camera and did them a little bit more like professional in terms of the setup and stuff because obviously I want to know what you guys want to see. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. A big thank you to I Saw It First for partnering with me for part of this video too. As I said, links to things will be down below and be sure to use my code HANNAH to get 10% off. Hope you're all having a lovely weekend. Be sure to follow me on Instagram to see holiday content because there will be lots of that coming. And yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.